yeah so so we'll, we'll pull up another video just for for prove our point all right so this is devil all of these devil yo you're going into captivity yo see you transgress all the laws of the heavenly father all right and then on, on top of that you know you you, 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 you enslave the people of, of the heavenly father yo see we see most i through our um disobedient hey bring us in slavery see but nevertheless all right yeah how shy who is the deliverer will come back and repeat right so we just get the scripture before we play this video it, it's um uh, and i'm reading out of the bible in front of me it's this is hebrews hebrews 5 if it's like a hebrews 4 verse 12. so for the word of the haoba shimel shai is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even the dividing asunder souls and spirit and of the joints and marrows and is a discerner of the thoughts and intent of the heart since these words cut like a knife right right like a dagger to the hearts of the heathen and even our people who is living the ways of the heathen anybody who is going on for the um without the laws and statutes of the heavenly father whenever we read these things them cut to the heart yo because the what the word is shows you up now these people are planning to ban the bible right to them hope to to, to to satisfy satisfy them own homosexual loss right because scripture what the scripture speak about that then the lord condemn homosexuality now f to, f to 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 get their way they think finishing with the bible or putting the bible a ban on the bible right i got to make everything all right see but yo the, the most i be really and truly the bible is just a script for us to read in remembrance of the heavenly father man. see me you can't stop these words right because these words burn into the to, to, to the souls of the elect right and show you how wash me how shy you you're gonna get the recompense of your hair all right we'll just read we'll just um play this video quick western journal reports that a new california pro lgbtq bill that would ban the sale or distribution of materials related to quote conversion therapy easily passed the state assembly on thursday cbs news affiliate kovr reported the final tally was 50 to 14. assembly bill 2943 now heads to the democrat controlled senate now the bill would make it unlawful an unlawful business practice to engage in any transaction intended to result or that results in the sale or lease of goods or services to any consumer aimed at sexual orientation change efforts with an individual goods would include any books or written materials while services would encompass counseling individuals seeking to address same-sex attractions According to the Los Angeles Times, quote, one key part of the debate centers on whether Assembly Bill 2943 would stretch beyond businesses that charge for conversion programs and extend to printed documents, including Bibles. The Bible clearly teaches that homosexual conduct is a sin and instructs Christians, Christians to abstain from it. The Apostle Paul... Hey, and, and uh, Christians, you have homosexual in Christians. is Christianity, yo. Uh, Christianity teaches that you can come in church as a homosexual and be forgiven and God will, go, I will heal you and whatever. And the Bible clearly tells you that you know, these men the horses need to be put to death. Just say it, the scriptures. Right? That's it. There's no gray here. Right? It says what it says, it is what it is. Records that people he ministered were to homosexuals, among other types of sinners, but they were transformed by the Spirit of God through the renewing of their minds. Hey, my point exactly. See, when the scripture tells us, say, oh, um, those put away evil from before you. All right? See, you have, you have a child for change. All right? And the scripture gives you a specific um, instruction how you're supposed to deal with these people. All right? Into their new identities as born again children of God. However, Randy Thomason with the SaveCalifornia.com told CBN News that the bill's actual language is very broad and can easily be brought to bear on Christian ministries. Take a look. 
A bill that would actually ban some Christian books is working its way through the California State Assembly. Sponsors of Assembly Bill 2943 actually want to outlaw books that basically teach against homosexuality and gender identity. SaveCalifornia.com's Randy Thomason joins us now for the latest on this legislation. Randy, thanks for joining us. Yes. So tell us more well, about this bill. I mean, it sounds like a stretch even for California, a bill attacking free speech and freedom of religion. There's eight homosexual legislators, Democrats, all of them, who are sponsoring this bill. And AB 2943 would start by saying, OK, nobody can get counseling to overcome same sex desires. OK, so no help for adult children adults who were molested as kids now they're adults and they say i want help to overcome these feelings no help for you but because the the bill is actually written in a part of the law that deals with consumer complaints it actually says no goods or services can be sold uh for anything any practice is very vague very broad anything helping people overcome same-sex desires so this is a pastor speaking you pay a ticket to hear him speak he speaks about overcoming same-sex desires hey that's that could be outlawed a wow. church sells a book about overcoming same-sex desires well there's a sale it's a transaction that could be banned so this is very expansive very tyrannical and absolutely squashing free speech religious freedom and basic choice of people this is an anti-freedom anti-american bill god help america if this law passes then a Christian in California will face a lot more persecution for their faith. Unbelievable. Hey, and as I'm saying, oh, free speech, all right, because guess what? We out here, and I'm speaking about the potential, the hopeful elect, all right? Are you how about Shimi Shai? Because we're the one out there in the highways and byways, you know, preaching and teaching this word every week in, week out, yo. See? Um, we're on the YouTube and all of that. Right, and, and one of the main things is, is for sense all of this video. Hey, who knows? Maybe this video go up and them take it down. Who knows? All right? But what I'm trying to do is get rid of all of these, these um, hate speech and coming down on us. Right? Because he's so make him, him, him attack on us. See? So, so um, and, and scripture says it, yo. Um, there, there come a day when um, the um, famine of the world are going to reach our people. Right? Because, hey, we've been calling out. Right, we've been out there. They are, hey, God knows I, I, I have hear, heard the call, and that's why I'm here. Right, in line, right, trying to call out. Right, thing. So, we'll just get a, a precept for close out. This is um, Amos 8, verse 11. It said, Behold, the day, behold, the day come, said the Lord, said the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a famine of. of thirst of water, right, but of hearing the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right, and they say, um, and they shall wander uh, from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it, all right, so hey, the internet's a lot down, you because know? you can see steps are clearly being put in place. Right, and guess what bring them thing here? Through your government, right? Your state to the books, the laws of this of this society. Right, governed by hey, as you said before, your government. Right? And that show you say all of these things what, what, um, what I bring out to you is, is reality. It's not back in the Bible days or whatever. It's things that are happening now. Right? And that show you who the prophets of the heavenly fathers, of the heavenly fathers, like ya are. Right, because the, the scripture in um, Jeremiah, I, think, I believe, uh, 28 verse 8, uh, somewhere about there, I uh, think it's Jeremiah 28 verse 8. I right, say the, the, the prophets that had been before, right, for roughly paraphrase it, prophesy of, 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 of um, against kingdoms. All right, let's, let me see if I can get that for you quick. If I can, uh, yes, it's like, yeah, it's 28 verse 8. All right, Jeremiah 28 verse 8. It said, The prophet that had been before, me and before thee of old prophesied against both countries and against great kingdoms, right, of wars and of evil and pestilence, right? Instead, the prophet which prophesy of peace when 
um, when the world, um, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had sent him. All right, hey, that's how you're gonna know the prophets. See, because um, the elders of James been teaching these things throughout for years. All right, see, and um, the last point I want to bring out of that precept is that. It said, um, the prophets prophesy against kingdom, right? And, and, and of, of governments and, and uh, I mean, to say society, what I call governments, right? Um, in, in the scriptures, you, they would be referred to as kings, all right? So if the prophets are not prophesying against these people, right? These priests, right? Who is in line with the government, right? Then, yo, guess what? You're a false prophet, yo. That's, that's, that's just it. So what I want is we want to call a lolly how about she may shy about she may call uh the blonde said the elders and apostle great millstone. Shallow one. Oh this video was very fine. Shallow one.